British Council in London uh, put out a call for artists who wanted to create something in new medium. And we were like, yeah, we should apply. And then we applied, and, and then we got the grant to be able to make this work. And virtual reality is, is one of the biggest pump moments that I've experienced because the software to make it is free. You can learn how to make it on YouTube, and the big companies just don't know what to do with it yet. What we consider future is actually current, right? So it's up to people, individual artists, that really do brave things with it and get as much ground as possible. This is actually Africa's first music video in virtual reality. If you make virtual reality in the games engine, which is interactive, don't think 360 video should be called virtual reality. But the difference is that in a piece like this, actually it's not pre-recorded, it's happening in real time like a computer game. So when you do this piece, I'll warn you all now, you're going to get a point where you have to choose the ending. This is a song with two endings, and it's up to you to choose the ending. Now you couldn't do that in a 360 video, but you can do it in this. You have to make the environment, but then you have to make the song for the environment to be detailed with the song. And you've only just begun to understand what virtual reality can do. How virtual reality is going to replace a lot of the traditional media as we know it. And a shout out to our collaborators, Hook and Shaking Machine in uh, Switzerland. But we did the first version of the track, we sent it to them, they developed it a little bit more and they sent it to us. So thank you so much for your willingness to participate in this project and just for all the learning that I'm doing. It's been amazing.